Hello students, I am Sarita and you and me today will study all about the plants. In studying the plants, in module 1, we will study about the tissues, the plant tissues. And students, before we can go to the study of the tissues, we need to study two terms. That is, why we need to study about the tissues and where are we studying about the tissues. Look at that, histology is a branch of biology where we study all about the tissues. And why do we study about the tissues? Exactly to study about the internal structure and that is anatomy, the branch of biology that deals with the study of the internal structures. With that, the whole concept of plant tissues originated with the work of the pioneers Nehemia Grew as well as Marcelo Malfigi of whom Nehemia Grew later was called the father of plant anatomy. And this is rightly a one mark question oftenly asked in the board students, who is the father of plant anatomy and that's Nehemia Grew. Now what are the tissues? They are a group of cells or aggregation of cells which perform a common function and they have a common origin. Plant tissues basically can be classified into two types based upon the capacity to divide or not. And they are being classified as meristems. Meristems which are those cells which have the capacity to divide. And again observe that students, it's a one mark question often asked in the board. So meristems are those tissues which are capable of dividing, have the capacity to divide. They are constantly undergoing division. They have no other work other than dividing. The second group of tissues, we call them as permanent tissues. And these are tissues which have stopped dividing or incapable of division. And they are assigned with a particular function to take part in the plant body. Here we go on now. Before we study very clearly about the tissues, let us study two more terms. One of them is differentiation. Now, differentiation refers to students, cells, that is, meristematic tissues uh, becoming assigned with a function. That is, less specialized cells become more specialized cells in order to perform a function. Observe there, meristems get themselves differentiated to give rise to parenchyma, which is a permanent tissue. Observe that, meristems differentiate to become uh, permanent uh, tissues. So, they are form permanent tissues which are performing a function. I move on to the next term that is de-differentiation. Now this is the reverse of differentiation. Differentiated cells revert back to the dividing stage. That means the parenchyma which is a permanent tissue becomes now meristematic in nature. Look at that. Meristems, permanent tissues divide or de-differentiate to become meristems. That is permanent tissues which are assigned with a function now start dividing and oftenly happens in large trees for increase of girth. Thank you.